Hello again, it's Sam with Blind Shell. In today's tutorial, we're gonna take a look at the Notes app and the Voice Recorder app. So I thought today we would take a look at some productivity apps. And in this case, we're looking at the Notes app and the Voice Recorder app. So first we need to navigate there. So from your main menu here, we're going to scroll to the right or left until we hear more applications. Messages to contacts. More applications, four of nine. There it is. We're gonna click OK. Tools, one of five. And it's in the tools section here, so we're gonna click OK again. Alarm, one of nine. And now we're gonna to scroll to the right until we hear one of those two options, voice recorder or notes. Minute timer, two of nine. Stopwatch, three of nine. Calendar, four of nine. Notes, five of nine. Notes, so there's notes, and the next one should be voice recorder. Voice recorder, six of nine. Okay, good. Let's go back to notes first. Notes, five of nine. We're gonna click OK. Add note, one of two. So these are pretty basic applications. They're pretty easy to figure out. Uh, we only have two options here. We can add in a new note. Notes list, two of two. Or we can see the list of notes that we already have on here. So let's click OK on that and see what I have on this one. Buy milk, one of one. Okay, I only have one note and it's buy milk. So let's go back and let's add a new note. Notes list two of two. Add note one of two. So I just went back and then went clicked over to get to the add new note. So I'm gonna click OK. Text. And it just jumps us directly into a text field. We know that because there was a slight little beep there letting us know that we're in a text field now. Now, as always, I can use the keypad here to type out a note, but it's just always easier to use voice dictation. So for that, we're going to click either click and hold either the volume up or the volume down buttons. That's the top left or top right button. Call mom and find out what time dinner is. Find out what time dinner is. So there we go. There's our note. I'm going to click OK. Note saved. Add note one of two. And our note has been saved. Now, obviously, we could add more into that if we wanted to. We could have written a whole paragraph there if we had really wanted to, but I just wanted to jot down a real quick note this time. So now it's been saved, we're back on add note. I wanna to go to view that note and see what options I have for it. So I'm gonna to click to the right. Notes list two of two. To notes list, I'm gonna click okay. Call mom and find out what time dinner is one of two. And your most recent note is gonna be the first one. So if I click okay on this note. Edit one of five. I have some options. The first one is to edit. I'm gonna to click to the right to see what other options I have. Send via SMS two of five. So I can send this in a, an SMS or a text message. Send via email three of five. I can send this into an email. Delete four of five. I can delete this note. Delete all five of five. Or I can delete all of my notes. Delete four of five. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. Do you want to delete this note? Now, as always, we get a little warning here saying, are you sure you wanna delete it? So we have to click OK again. This prevents us from accidentally deleting anything that we didn't mean to. Buy milk, one of one. And now we've deleted that note and the buy milk note is the only one left. Notes list two of two, notes five of nine. So that's the notes application. Once again, pretty simple, easy to use, but very helpful. Now let's jump to the voice recorder. I'm gonna to click to the right. Voice recorder, six of nine. And I'm gonna click OK. Start recording, one of two. And this is basically the same layout. And the first option is to create a voice recording. Records list, two of two. And the second one is the list of recordings we already have. So let's add in a new voice recording. I'm gonna click back to the left. Start recording, one of two. Now when I click OK onto this, it's just going to be recording. The microphone is gonna be recording. Visually on the screen, there's a little timer that's going to indicate how long we are recording for. The only audible cue you'll get is it will say recording. Recording. Call Mary when you get home. Recording save. Start recording, one of two. All right, so it let us know that they saved the recording and now it's gonna show up in the recordings list. So we're gonna to click to the right. Records list two of two. 
and I'm going to click OK. Recording one, March 20th, 2020, 7.57 a.m., one of one. Now, by default, it titles the recording by the date, time and date, but we can change that later if we want to. So I'm going to click OK. Play, one of five. And we have some options here. The first one is to play. Let's go ahead and try that first. Call Mary when you get home. Playback finished. And there you go. There's our recording. So I need to click back. Recording one, March 20th, 2020, 7.57 a.m., one of one. Okay, let's click OK onto that again and find out what those other options were. Play, one of five. Play. Rename, two of five. Here's where we can rename this file if we want to give it a uh, more recognizable name. Share record by email, three of five. We can send this audio file to someone via an email. Delete, four of five. We can delete this one recording. Delete all, five of five. Or we can delete all the recordings. Now, this is the only one I have, but I'm going to click delete all anyway. Do you want to delete all records? All recordings deleted. There records we... list two of two. There we go. Okay. Call one of nine. So that was the voice recorder as well as the notes app. Both very, very similar, but also very useful. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to learn more, Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to learn more about what your Blindshell Classic mobile phone can do, be sure to head over to our YouTube channel and watch some of our other tutorials.